I'm coming for you, Cut! I'm coming for you! Do you hear me? When I find you, I'm going to cut you up in so many pieces. They're going to have to bury you in six states. You came. Who are you expecting? Husband number two? Just go. Just take your money and get out of here. See, that's the thing. I'm not going anywhere. You are. What are you talking about? This is my house, so get the hell out. There's no way in hell Clint sold you this house. It's true. He didn't sell it to me, he gave it to me. It's part of the deal. I get the money and the house. He gets his daughter back. Everybody walks away happy. So maybe Tess. So, now that I'm home, everybody out. Surely you don't mean me. There is no way Clint would give up this place. It's been in the family for decades. Not anymore. You seriously strong-armed him into giving up his home? Well, it's not like he's coming back. The dude just had a massive heart attack. He's gonna be lucky if he gets out of the ICU. Much less walk up those stairs. Dare stand there and insult my dad. Why not? It's my house. You know, it does seem to be his. Why? Because he says so? Because my father gave it to him. What? Cutter wouldn't commit Tess until Dad gave him the house. Why? Why would you do that? With the money he gave you, you could buy ten houses. I didn't want ten houses. I wanted this one. Why? What's so special about this one? Well, you and your husband live here. And now I can throw you out. So this is revenge, huh? Because I fell in love with Joey? If I can't be with you, why should he? Well, you don't have to worry about that, Cutter. Because Aubrey and I are through. I'm very sorry that I hurt you, Cutter, but this doesn't change anything. I love Joey. Leave me out of this. I warned you to be careful with Cutter's heart. All these years, I had your back. Now you have what you always wanted. Walk away, money. That's not all that I wanted, and you know it. Well, I'm not that girl anymore. I just wanted out. Is that too much to ask? I fell in love. With the mark. You've got an hour to pack. So do you. Don't forget the kid. I'm turning his room into a sauna. So you just want us to wake up Ryder? Not my problem. You guys are sick of playing mommy and daddy. Maybe you should just give the baby back to Tess. Little babysitting might snap her out of it. Where are we supposed to go? Uh, there's a decent shelter in Angel Square. You better hurry. All the best beds fill up fast. Look, I'll get Ryder. I'll take him to mom's. We have to stay together, otherwise we'll lose custody of Ryder. Fine. Then we'll stay together. For now. What about me? Well, enjoy your house and all your money, because I never want to see you again. What did you think was going to happen? We'd just be friends. I loved you. I loved you, too. Gave you every chance. We could have walked with the Buchanan fortune together. But now you wanted to play house with I me. didn't mean to hurt you, Cutter, OK? Can't you just give him back the house? It's not like you need it. Make you the hero? <laughs> no. No, you deserve this for making me look like a fool. I wish I could be there to see his mom's face when you walk in the door. I'm sure she's gonna make things really cozy for you. The girl who lied to her son and cost her family half its fortune. Good one. It won't last long. With Tess back in therapy, Jessica will be home in no time. She'll take Ryder. And Joey will have no use for you. He'll throw you out, which is what you deserve for betraying Cutter. Who asked you? You did, when you used me to get back at Clint. I did everything you asked, Aubrey. And what did it get me? My husband's in jail, and nobody cares. Not even my good friend, Aubrey. Oh, we stopped being friends the day you blackmailed me into taking you in here. Nobody forced you to abandon your husband. You saw an easy payday, and you took it. I love him, Al, OK? Oh, really? Then I feel sorry for him. How do you think he's gonna feel when he finds out you talked him into going into jail so you could be rid of him? And then you lied about being pregnant so he would be out of the way and you could sleep with Christian Vega. <gasps> you, I never betrayed my husband, and I refuse to discuss my marriage with a woman who uses sex to make money. <gasps> okay. Ladies, the fun's over. Let's not get close. <laughs> Not the China. Don't tear it.
I need help with the rider. Oh. Rama, the Brahmin brawler. Almost sad to see you go. That was hot. I'm not going anywhere, Kata. Not if you want me to keep your dirty little secret. What secret? Everybody already knows that Aubrey and I aren't related. I'm talking about your other secret, Cutter. The one that not even Aubrey knows. We're leaving. Roma, can I give you a ride? Are you serious? Don't start. Thank you, Joey. As always, the gentleman. But you know what? I think I'm going to be staying here. What? Yeah. Uh, you know, anybody who can take a piece out of you has got to be a good company. Are you coming? Yeah. Nothing for me here. I'm so sorry about all of this, Joey, for bringing Cutter into your lives and for losing you your house. Yeah, well, you're sorry about a lot of things. Not about meeting you or that we have Ryder. I am going to make this up to you, I promise.